Hello there, fellow Google educators. This is Mr. Haney coming at you with a simple tip to make your email look that much better. We work so hard as educators. We get certified. We become ambassadors. We go to conferences to present. And what do we get for all that hard work that we use to diverse ourselves to really impact the children? We get these cute little badges right up here that clutter our email. Maybe we have four of them and it looks nice. Maybe you're awesome and you do a ton of stuff and you have eight. Uh, but either way, it gets hard to manage. Either you have to find the perfect way to fit them on there or you have to delete some to make a bit or you have to make them super tiny so they can all fit in a row. It doesn't do that awkward thing where it starts a new line. Whatever the case may be for you, I'm going to show you how to take this badge, turn it into a GIF so that you can do something amazing. It all starts with a Google slide. So you're going to go to a Google slide and you're going to add all your badges, certifications, um, ambassadorships, whatever it may be. The only tip I have is try to keep them the same size. Set your slide size to the perfect size for you and try to make sure they fill all that space. When you're done with that, you're going to go right here to talltweets.com and you're just going to open up that slide you just made. All right, and it's going to make the GIF for you. So all you have to do is make a slide and it's going to make the GIF for you. You have some options. You can change the text, the pixel width, uh, I usually set the seconds at about two or three seconds, so it's not too long, not too short. Um, and if you want to mix up the slides and the order that they go in, you can do that. I'm not because I made them in the order I want them in. Um, after you're done with that, you just click Create GIF. It's going to load it up for you, and it's going to turn it into this amazing-looking GIF that we see right here, where it turns for you. And all you have to do is save it to your computer. It's done. So we're going to click the Save button, and that's going to go to our downloads. We need to remember that later because it will go, again, to our downloads. So we don't want to forget that. So now we're going to go to our email. All right, we're going to click the little cog, and then we're going to scroll down to Settings. All right, and that's going to open up our settings. We just need to scroll down to our signature line. You see I already have mine in there, but we're going to add another one. So we're going to go up to Add a Picture. All right, and then when we add the picture, it's going gonna, it's gonna to appear right next to where we put our cursor. So make sure your cursor's in the right spot. So we go again, remember, downloads. We're going to go to our downloads. Click on it. Pick the one that we want. As you can see, I've done this multiple times. We're going to download that GIF, open it up, and it's going to put it in the right place. But it's going to be really big, like crazy big. So we're going to have to scroll kind of towards the bottom of that GIF. We're going to click on it so that we can resize it. I like my medium. If you want it to be tinier so it fits nice and snug at the end, you can do that. Um, or you can make it large if you really want it to stand out. Um, probably don't want to leave it at original size because that's really big. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you'd like to check out more of the stuff that I do in class or some of the stuff I know, check me out on Twitter at, at MrHaney17. Uh, thank you for watching.